All right, guys, let's take a closer look at uh, Marco's stuff because Marco always has, Chico's always has really, really good stuff. These are, he has a whole bunch of these. This is probably maybe a tenth. Marco, how many uh, big rigs do you got? About 20. <laughs> he's got 20 of them, so he's got some of them up here for sale. I haven't gone into this world yet. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, super crazy intimidating to me. I mean, look at all the workings and complexity there. And there, you can go basically all the way with these big rigs. You can have them shoot smoke, have running noises. We actually went to uh, one of the the big rig. They call them tiny truckers meets or whatever. Um, I'll put a link in the eye above somewhere. But su they're super cool. I just I haven't mustered up the courage to do big rigs yet. And uh, look, this trailer. I actually have this trailer. Not a bad deal. 140 bucks. Um, here is a. This is one of the really, really high-end crawlers. So I only tamper and play in the TRX4 world, um, but this is a Vanquish. And it's essentially, I guess it's like the Mercedes of crawlers, but everything on these cars is super crazy, next level expensive and valuable. Um, that one's got LED headlights. Uh, this one's beautiful, but look, you look under it. I mean, metal diffs. Everything is just so well put together. Look at the... Uh, fender wells are all in there it's got interior maybe one day i'll get a vanquish car but for now we're gonna stay in the trx4 world look he's got x01 up here and he's got x01 with a camera mount that means he tried to go 100 miles an hour with a camera on top it's got i used to know what these are but this was the nitro one which is cool a little teton that looks like a i think that's the uh Vortec, yep, it is. Looks like he's got a drift car in there. Oh, he's got, yeah, we've already seen these, but he's always got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Look at this. S SMT 10, a Summit, a bunch of cool stuff. Here's a new table. We haven't seen this one yet. Look, he's got a, a Traxxas T Max. Uh, you can usually scoop those up pretty cheap. Um, they're really good projects because you can find good parts for them. It's easy to find parts for them still. You can get all different types of hop-ups and they're very rewarding whenever you rebuild them and you build them up the way you want them. Uh, I'm not in the market for a T-Max, but if you're getting into, like if you want to try out Nitro, you're getting into RC, you want a cool rebuild, I definitely recommend you check out either a, Re a Revo or a T-Max. Great, great options. It's got a whole bunch of stuff up here. He's got some mini bead locks. They're T-Max body. I don't know what car that is. What is that? Maybe a wrestler? Maybe a wrestler. Who knows? All right, look, this guy's setting up. So you gotta you gotta attack these guys quick because this stuff goes fast. Like as they're pulling it out of the car, you need to be asking questions. Look at that that X Max over there. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of stuff. All right, we're gonna dig through this stuff. Look at the Max, guys. Check out this X Max. As soon as I saw it, I said, "You're not selling it, are you?" And he's like, "No, no, no." <laughs> he just got it. But look at how many hop ups he has on this thing. Look at that wheelie bar. So he's got the bigger rollers on it. He's got the blue, the heavy duty arms, the blue shock, look at this, blue shock bodies with the Fox decals on there, looks really good. Looks like he's got some custom aluminum, uh, blue aluminum rock sliders. Obviously the MX-43s, not the 43s. Oh, I'm gonna get myself lying, but these are the Badlands that I have on my car too. Those are awesome. He's got the, looks like a different color be um, wheel rings. He's even got different colored lock nuts or wheel nuts. Um, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Geez, I'm going to see if we can take the body off and, and take a look at it. You know what? i got to send this over to Jamie because Jamie is not going to be happy. He has, he has a rock and roll X-Max. I don't think his is this clean. Sheesh. Wow, look at this thing. He did every Everything is blue. Everything is matching. I mean, you can go all out with these cars. Like, the little details are the ones that I see. Like, even the blue screws. Um, I think he painted those, but still. I mean, he did it, right? The blue, I don't even think that comes with the blue button. I think he made that button blue. Um, I don't know if he did. Like I said, it's the small details. And then you see these little blue aluminum pieces in the back. That all takes time. It all takes searching, like finding all these pieces. But this car is nicely hopped up. But that's what's awesome about these is you can do them however you want to. And basically hop them up however you like to your, your taste, your flavor. Look at this thing. Oh my god. I haven't gotten this far into my X Max, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. Got the light kit. Let's see what else I can I notice here. 
that steering though. Look at that steering. My God. It's freaking nuts. Look at this beautiful Tamiya. We're making, we're talking Tamiya's over here. We're talking about how they're freaking awesome. We love building them. And then he busts this one out. He's not selling this one, but look at how amazing this thing is. Oh man, look at how good it looks. This is why I love Tamiya's. And we were just talking about basically Tamiya's. What happens is you get the chassis built and then you get to the body and you're not even halfway done. <laughs> it, it takes twice as much time to build, make the body look that good um, than to actually build a car. But Tamiya cars, man, they look, they're just, oh, they're, they're awesome. All right, it's turned into a Tamiya showcase. Look at, so we saw this one last time. I thought this belonged to a, a gentleman named Kiora. Apparently this is Joel's. Look at how beautiful that thing is. I, I admired this one last time. Um, he did drive it, which he said that's what it's for. That's what they're for to drive them, but it hurts. Doesn't it hurt to scratch it? Jeez, but look at this thing. Oh man, that looks so cool. And then he's got the light bar on the front. Golly, his, his cars look sweet. To me, guys. To me, to me, a Thursday, to me, a Tuesday. What do you guys think? We're gonna have to start doing more to me, for sure. Oh, guys, the drag racers have rolled in. Which one is this one? Is this the this is a slash, right? No, that's the R10. The R10. 85 I rock with uh, 85 I go. So, you go fast. Golly, look at this thing. It's so clean. Look, his body it looks good. Drag racing, guys, it's hot right now. If you don't have one, you might want to get one. Um, I'll be doing some drag racing soon. So, just hang in there, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because there will be some drag racing content coming really, really soon. Check this out, guys. An Emacs. These are hard to find right now. You, actually, they don't make them at all anymore, so you can only find them on the used market. This one actually doesn't look like it's in bad condition. It has the VXL 6S in it already. It has the older TQI remote, but it's pretty cool. I mean... That's the only thing is they don't make them anymore, so you'd have to find find it on the uh, old obsolete parts market, which they make all T-Max stuff. Anything on that chassis and E-Max related will be hard to get, but what do you think, guys? Looks pretty good. There's another thing that I saw up here that I'm really contemplating on picking up. Uh, this just showed up. That blazer body with the wheels. Um, I'm a Ford guy, so I don't typically like, I don't typically like uh, Blazers or Chevys, but that one has the light kit on it. It's the blue, and it comes with the matching wheels. Uh, he wants he wants quite a bit for it. I think he wants 300, 254, or something like that. Um, that's a little more than I want to pay. I shot him an offer. He turned it down. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we're wrapping up here. I'm going to show you what I got. I got some really good stuff. I got some stuff that's kind of disappointing. Not disappointing, depressing. Um, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you see it. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, we're going to go over what I got. Look, I'm just putting it up here. Look, this, this is all from the parade. So sorry, parade, 4th of July, it's still on here. All right, look at what I got. All right, first off, you already saw that. I'll go ahead and talk about this. I did get a Mini Z. Uh, this Mini Z, he said he drove it once. You can tell by the body, this is the Corvette. Usually with Mini Zs, if the if the wing is still there, it's, it's barely ran because the wing is the first thing to fly off. But it comes with the track pack. You can see the track pack in there. Um, yeah, brand new Mini Z with the track pack. The Corvette actually comes with lights also. I bought that. And I'll tell you what I got all this stuff for here in a second. I got the two barrels because I want to put those barrels on top of my crawler. I need something in there because I got those new cargo nets but nothing under the cargo nets. I got this ice chest. It's a little beat up but it's an ice chest. Melissa wanted a cool front bumper. Um, I, this is a metal front bumper for TRX4. It does have the metal D-rings. Beautiful bumper. Uh, I told Melissa I was going to get some scale accessories, and I, if she doesn't want this, I want this on my other TRX4. I might actually just keep that for my TRX4 anyways, but the metal bumper. I got these remotes, so this is just a remote and receiver, TQ. So the reason why I got those, because I'm going to be giving some cars away, and I need some remotes and receivers for them. So this is actually for you guys. Um, here's another remote and receiver. This one comes with the servo. This is the... Uh, Let's see if it will zoom in on that. Oh, come on, come on, you got it. The 2075X. Why doesn't it want to zoom? Let me see if I can. There you go, 2075X. Uh, that's the Metal Gear servo for the TRX4. So that one came with that. And then I did get this worn winch. Look, it's a brand new worn wrench. This thing is freaking clean. The only thing I don't like about these is they don't integrate and they don't um, basically connect to your stuff as, as clean. So I got all this. All this, all right? The Mini Z, the scale stuff, the bumper, 
the remotes and that winch. I got it all for 155, guys. I scored on that. Uh, this alone, I just saw in there, is $200. Just the Mini Z without the track pack. That track pack is brand new, 29 bucks. Um, so right there alone would have been a good deal for 150. Uh, so I got all this for 155. I'm super pleased with that deal. And then guys, I don't know if you saw it on the side here. I can't, I don't know what my problem is, guys. I I can't take it. I look when I see them, I gotta buy them. I I just think that the whole setup, whenever you have cars on trailers, looks so good. This is the fourth trailer I've bought over over the years. And I just couldn't pass up the deal. He only wanted $60 for it. I didn't even negotiate it. Usually I go in there and I offer him 50, but it was the same guy who sold me all this stuff. I think he was already feeling kind of bad about selling that stuff so cheap. So I went ahead and gave him 60 for it. But the thing about this one is all the lights work. All the pieces are here. So look, it's got the blinking lights. Kind of see it right there. And then it's got the solid lights right there and lights on the back so all the lights work on my other trailer the, all the lights don't work uh, also all the like you can tell see the bottom it's not so beat up all the leaf springs are there if anything i needed those leaf springs because one of mine doesn't have all the leaf springs but this one looks like in such great condition for 60 bucks I, I couldn't pass it up i'll put a link in the description below to this trailer i think you can get it at a main for i think like maybe 120 150 something along those lines um this was a very good use price especially with the condition it was in. So that is, that's today's take at the swap meet. I'm super pleased with everything I've scored. We also got these two skateboards. Um, someone just gave us these. Uh, really nice gentleman. I'm not, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know how much people want to be, be called out, but he makes these cool um, thumb steering wheels for the TQ radio that he's gonna start selling. He's gonna send me some. He's for his work, he's a repossessor, and I guess he got these for free. And he was like, hey, I saw that your sons like skateboards. Do you want some? And he just gave them to us. So we got those skateboards for free, which is really nice. So overall, great, great time. Met some new subscribers, met some new people, met some people that I haven't actually met in real life, uh, but I talked to online. And we scored some really good stuff. So super happy about it. All right, guys, we're going to do one more walkthrough. It looks like more people are getting here. If I see some cool stuff, you know I'll record it. But I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys. Oh, guys, I, I don't lose. I can't take no for an answer. It happened. All right, now the vlog is over. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>